were reports that were surfacing that your administration is planning to pay illegal immigrants who are separated from their families at the border up to $450,000 each, possibly a million dollars per family. Do you think that that might incentivize more people to come over illegally? If you guys keep sending that garbage out, yeah, but it's not true. So this is a garbage report? Yeah. If in fact, because of the, the outrageous behavior of the last administration, you coming across the border, whether it was legal or illegal, and you lost your child, you deserve some kind of compensation. I want to talk about this report from the Wall Street Journal that they published recently that the U.S. is actually in talks to pay hundreds of millions of dollars to families separated at the border under President Trump's zero tolerance policy. Now, President Biden has commented on these reports. Um, what's your reaction to this pivot that we saw from the president? Well, unfortunately, it's not any different from uh, the numerous issues that he doesn't appear to be fully up to speed on. Uh, so when asked the initial question, I think his initial reaction was the right one, which is the reports are garbage. We, we, we certainly can't be doing this. We can't be paying uh, individuals for knowingly who knowingly broke the law back in 2018. And of course, a day went by, his handlers and his staff talked to him and said, no, sir, that's actually what we're doing. We're mm -hmm. actually, uh, you know, we'll likely try to settle a, a court case with the ACLU where we have to pay these individuals uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So then he came back out and said, well, no, I think it's uh, actually okay. So I think in, in one sense, it's sad uh, because, again, it shows that the president is out of touch with what's going on in his own administration. But the fact that they have doubled down on this now and said that it is OK and it's the right thing to do to pay individuals who knowingly broke our law several years ago, uh, I think it shows you how to, out of touch they are with the American people. There's recent polling on this where almost 75 to 80 percent of those uh, you know, uh, doing the poll, disagree that we should be paying any of these individuals. Again, foreign nationals who broke our law, we should somehow be incentivizing and paying them uh, for that action is just absolutely ludicrous at the end of the day. And also something that I thought was ludicrous, just looking more into this, um, obviously these payments haven't been made official yet. Um, you know, they're still in these alleged talks. Uh, looking more into this, though, I, I just thinking about the Gold Star families, you know, people who have lost loved ones or, or service members. And uh, the Department of Defense notes that the death gratuity program provides for a special tax free payment of one hundred thousand dollars to eligible survivors of members of the armed forces who die while on active duty or while serving in certain reserve statuses. So. There are other potential benefits that Gold Star families can receive, but as this Fox News article points out, it would still not be equivalent to these potential $450,000 payments that migrant families could receive. What does that say that we, you know, would be paying our Gold Star families who who have family members who made the ultimate sacrifice less than what we're paying uh, these families that were separated at the border? Well, it's absolutely a terrible message to send, um, which is why I think uh, you see so much of the American public and others that out there that are very much against this, that are urging the administration to rethink this. What what the Biden team should be doing is to going into court and fighting uh, this lawsuit. Uh, um, and I think it just shows you how they continue to not enforce immigration law, right? We've seen this time and time again over the last eight months. And in this case, instead of going into court and fighting uh, the ACLU to say, no, you know, these folks broke our law. Uh, we did, uh, we prosecuted them legally. We did a number of things legally. There's no reason we should be paying them money. Instead, they're choosing to settle with them because it not only fits the narrative that they have in the immigration context, but it also helps some of their uh, more left-leaning organizations that support their party. So there's a variety of different things that are concerning about this. Uh, that we really need to take a look at. But again, I would urge the administration to to fight this, uh, to go into court to say there's no reason. I mean, look, again, I think it's important to remember that we've already brought these parents back to the United States on taxpayer uh, dollars. So they've already been brought back to the United States. They're being paroled into the United States for years. Mm -hmm. Again, these individuals otherwise would have no legal right to be here. They've gone through that due process uh, back in 2018. Uh, where they declared that their asylum claim was not valid. 
Um, so they shouldn't be here. But nevertheless, that we we paroled them back in. And on top of that, the ACLU wants you to believe that we now owe them four hundred and fifty thousand dollars per individual. It's just it's absolutely crazy uh, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And obviously, these talks are, are going on, as I mentioned at the beginning of the interview, um, because of President Trump's zero tolerance policy back in 2018. Um, looking back to that policy itself, do you think, like, what, if anything, do you think was done incorrectly? Is there a legal precedent for these payments? Um, sort of what's the legal grounding for these payments? Well, I'll leave the legality argument to, to attorneys and others that are steeped in that. I don't believe that there is. Mm -hmm. Look, everything that was done, again, back in 2018 under that zero tolerance was completely legal, which is to say if an individual crosses that border illegally, that is a crime and you can be prosecuted under that statute. We had seen uh, previous administrations, including the Obama administration, do that. Uh, what we did during the Trump administration is we increased the number of prosecutions, which then led to a number of, of families being separated uh, during that time. And again, I think it's important to remember, again, parents had the choice to take these in, these children back to their home countries. They chose not to. Um, and we've done everything, I think, in our power. And I know it continues to, to reunite those uh, families if they want to be. Some of them do not want to be. Um, and at the end of the day, we should, again, not be paying individuals who knowingly break our law. I don't think that there is a precedent for this. I think the Biden administration will make it a precedent if they decide to settle. Uh, instead, they should be going to court uh, and fighting and fighting the um, fighting the claim.